Hey guys, it's Dari and Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a get ready with me. Um, I'm not exactly going anywhere. I might go to like Hobby Lobby. But <laughs> other than that, I just wanted to share with you guys my foundation routine and my everyday like look. Um, I've been getting a lot of compliments on it and I just figured why not just share with you guys and let you see the process of what I do every day. Yeah, you can see like products I use and all that stuff because it has changed since the last time that I've done this. First things first, face. Or what I like to do is just make sure that my skin is just nice and moisturized and that definitely helps the makeup to go on a lot smoother and along with that I like to nair my face so I just nared earlier so my face is all you know fresh smooth there's no hairs it's just ready to go it's the perfect canvas um I also like to apply shea butter onto my skin so I like to do that and then just let it just soak into my skin I don't like to do shea butter and then go immediately into makeup I just feel like that's just it's too much it's not it's not the right formula that is that so first things first I like to go in with concealer so I like to underpaint my face and then go on with foundation over top of it and you'll see what I mean as I'm doing this um, so the first thing I'm going to do is use concealer so the main product for my face is concealer I use concealer for just color correction you know brightening for contouring concealer is my number one go-to tool so the first concealer that I'm going to use is from elf all of my concealers are actually from elf this one is the 16 hour camel concealer and I also like to put it over my dark spots just so that they're like extra covered and concealed and nice. So the next thing I'm going to do is go in with foundation. Before I was only using the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. That was what I was just using on its own. And then I started to add the L'Oreal True Match. So now I just put both of them together and I also mix it with some translucent powder. Well, the translucent powder just for me really helps to make it so that number one, I don't use primer as you guys can see my oils and my skin they just come out like immediately um like after an hour or so of wearing makeup my skin will just be oily and gross but once I put the translucent powder in it and this is from airspun this is just a regular like color that they have once I mix them together it just really makes it so that my skin is just nice it's flawless it's silky and there's no like real oil sh like mess <laughs> after a while so I love using them together so now what I'm gonna do is contour and highlight and again I'm gonna use the elf um, concealers so to highlight I'm going to use um, the hydrating camo concealer satin finish in the color medium beige and then for contour i'm going to use the hydrating camo concealer satin finish in the color rich ebony now what i'm going to do is go in with my airspun powder again and i'm just going to bake so while my face is baking i'm going to go in and do my eyebrows now i feel like i've been looking over here this whole time and i'm sorry <laughs> I'm just working with a different like setup as far as my camera is concerned so I'm just trying to like look and see if it looks okay anyway first thing that I like to do is run through my brows with just like some kind of spoolie brush something and this has like a little bit of brow gel on it then I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in the color dark brown Now I'm going to clean up my brows with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Pure Beige. I love doing this step because it just makes your brows just so much cleaner and more defined. Like if you see this one compared to this one, like yeah, definitely makes a difference if you ask me. Okay, so... That is all done and that's pretty much it for the eyes i don't necessarily like to do eye makeup every day that's not something that i do i usually just put on dramatic lashes and call it good sometimes maybe a little bit of liner but just depends on the day so now what i like to do is just take the back of like my sponge 
and just go over like the places that I've powdered. I just find that this like gets rid of the powder a lot better because usually like if I just dust the powder away like it leaves like a weird like cast on my face but when I go in like this it's like pressing it into my skin even further and at the same time I still have some of that like leftover like foundation and stuff on it so it's also bringing back some of that color that I need. Boom. What I'm gonna do is go in with a dark brown like powder and deepen up my contour. I love doing this because it just makes my face like so much more snatched than it was before. I love an intense contour. Like it's just so good. And I really love an intense like nose contour. I just feel like it looks so good on me. This palette is from Black Radiance. It's the True Complexion Contour Palette. It looks like this. Um, I'm going to take the highlight and use that as well. Now, obviously, if I'm wearing a mask, like you're not really going to be able to see this. But I like it. <laughs> I fell in love with highlighter again. Especially like this color. I just feel like it does something to the face. Like it just makes it so much more like just bronzy and glowy. Especially when you pair it with like the contour and the colors and the melanin. and the... So good, okay? Um, but yeah, that's done. So now I'm going to move on to the eyes. And it's super, super simple what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pop on some falsies from my line. But before I do that, I'm going to go in with mascara. And this one is from KKW Beauty. So I've worn these lashes already. Not today, but like, you know, on a separate occasion. And they're just full of like glue. So to put on my lashes, I'm just going to use hair glue. Um, sometimes I go back and forth between hair glue and using actual like eyelash glue. And the eyelash glue that I really like using is from my line Oi Bella Beauty. And I like using my lashes from Oi Bella Beauty as well. So. These ones that I'm going to put on, we don't have these ones in stock anymore. They're from my older collection. Um, but we do have like a bunch of different lashes. As far as like types go, we have silk lashes, mink lashes, some that are more natural looking, some that are a little bit more like glam and full and just out there. Um, so we have something for everybody and yeah, go shop. Now, these ones are old so they look kind of like crazy like this one, but I still like them. I don't care. <laughs> Until they don't work anymore. I'll stop using them. Lashes just make everything so much better. <laughs> So I'm going to take some of this KKW Beauty mascara and just put a little bit down here. Okay, now it's time for the lips. So first thing I like to do is go in and put on a lip gloss. So I'm going to use the lip gloss from Oibella Beauty. And I'm just going to pop this on. This is another oldie that's not in stock anymore. But... Again, we have lots of different types, consistencies, etc. So next I'm going to take the KKW Beauty lipstick in the color Nude, and it's number 8. And I'm just going to go around my lips. So kind of like a lip liner, but with lipstick. And then I like to pop in a lighter color in the center, and I'm using the NYX Lip Lingerie in 11. Now, at this point, I would go ahead and do my hair and whatnot, but I don't feel like doing that today, right now. So we'll leave that for another day. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learning how I do my everyday makeup look. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.
Bye. Stay with the stand to your